Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unturned Console update and we are back to the Dark Age. There are a lot of good things that came with this update but as always, there are also a lot of side effects. This time around the side effects are way worse than what they fixed. Let's first go over the positives. The update, as always, targeted the major bugs plaguing the game. I'm going to start with the ammo duplication glitch. They fixed it! I don't even know how long it has been in the game for now, but now you get the same amount of bullets when repairing a gun. PvP has been saved, but not really. It would be if it wasn't for the side effects that we will talk about in a few minutes. The next major fix is that zombies now respawn. Now the zombie game actually has zombies. Fire rate of most weapons are now constant. In one of my past videos I explained that they forgot to code the game to be delta time instead of FPS based. Well, I was right, and now it's fixed. They also fixed strong recoil, but I didn't really notice it, I'm gonna be honest. It kinda feels the same and it doesn't feel great. To be fair, I used an Elver gun, so it could just be like that on Elver. Next up, they added V-Sync option, and show hints now work. V-Sync is basically to help with screen tearing. If you turn it on, your game should screen tear less, but may drop some in FPS. I didn't notice a difference in the V-Sync on performance. But if you've been paying attention to the background gameplay, you will notice that it is laggy. I wasn't going to say any negatives, but I need to say this one because there is a huge lag in the game again. This time, instead of being 2 frames per second, everyone just feels delayed. I think Ruslan in his video mentioned that the lagging was also happening in single player. Either way, I don't know how well V-Sync works because the gameplay is barely playable again. Also, I have no idea what the show hints are. I looked around, I don't know what it means. Everything else on the list are various bug fixes and aren't too important, so I'll just speed on it. Meshes have been reverted to the original meshes. Dropped items won't fall through the architecture. Vehicles have correct speeds. Quest icons are no longer distorted. Turrets won't shoot friendly players. New group members can interact with stuff. Thumbnails on items are fixed. Objects placement action no longer goes through if a character is in its way. I think that means the animation, but if it isn't the animation, it just means you can't build on top of someone. The pandiculator now does damage, and you should crash less often. There are also something about text issues. I think they're talking about UI stuff, but you still can't type on signs, so that's just kind of sad. Now for the side effects. Like I said earlier, the game is choppy again, and your actions feel delayed. Movement is fine, but shooting a gun feels weird, and sometimes zombies will hit you at a distance. Zombies also will be removed from their consciousness, and an invisible zombie will attack you instead. I tested the patch notes on Russia, and the trees seem to be floating, and you can hide inside of them. Also, the car tree glitch still works, but that glitch is funny, so I don't really mind. The more you play the game, the more the frame rate kind of gets better, but every time you attack something, it's just very delayed. Here is me shooting Prince, and then him not dying, and then him dying a few seconds later. Do you want to know how I put my dog down? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Basically, the game went from having many glitches back to being laggy again. Like I said in the real reason why console failed, it will be an endless cycle of the game either lagging or having glitches. Speaking of that, the Unturned Console Twitter posted a response about the lack of updates, and here's the summary. If you remember, Fun Labs created the game, then 505 developers worked on it, until Cradle Games took over. This response now has confirmed that. Also, another thing I got right from the console failed video was that they did use Nelson's PC code to develop the Unturned console version. Unturned already destroys PC computers, so how would it ever work on a console? I don't know. Anyways, Cradle Games will hopefully fix these issues quickly, but I won't believe it till I see it. If you guys could do them a favor and report any bugs you see in the 505 Discord, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. However, like and subscribe, and stay unturned. Oh yeah, just so you know you're bald.